Hello, uh, this is Aizada and in this video I'd like to show you how we can collect repayments. So, a repayment is the act of paying back money previously borrowed from a lender. Typically, the return of funds happens through periodic payments which include both principal and interest. Loans can usually also be fully paid in a lump sum at any time, though some contracts may include an early repayment fee. In order to collect repayments, we need to go to the tab called Loans and then there is a search field here. So in the search field we need to find the customer who uh, needs to make the repayment. So we can enter any details uh, here and the system will find out the customer. So now, uh, right now, let's say that this customer uh, needs uh, to make a repayment. So we need to open the customer profile and then we need to click the last icon which is called operations. Uh, after that you need to select the repayment and you will see the repayment schedule and uh, here we need to enter the date when the repayment is collected let's say it's august uh, 5th 2019 and the system has four types of repayments uh, normal repayment normal manual repayment early partial repayment and early total repayment let's say this repayment is normal and if it's a normal repayment usually the system shows you the uh, amount which needs to be repaid automatically and it, it is principal plus uh, the interest once you have specified everything uh, you can click repay and now we see that uh, it has been successfully repaid so another operations with loans is loan rescheduling. Uh, I'd like to show you how we can do that. Uh, so loan rescheduling uh, is a new loan that replaces the outstanding balance on an older loan and is paid over a longer period, usually with a lower installment amount. Loans are commonly rescheduled to accommodate a borrower in financial difficulty and thus to avoid a default. Also, uh, it is called rescheduling structured loan. So to uh, reschedule the loan we can go to reschedule and we see here we need to specify the reschedule date. Okay let's say uh, it's August 5th. Uh, first installment date is okay September the 5th. Uh, then uh, um, uh, the, now current interest rate is 12% but let's say the interest rate has been increased to 18% and the customer would like to make a, a repayment uh, in okay 24 months so now uh and okay also let's say that there is a grace period uh, which is one month we can click reschedule now we see that the uh, this loan has been rescheduled and we can go to the repayment schedule and change uh, and sorry and check the repayment schedule now we see that uh, the loan has been changed from 12 months to 24 months and the interest rate has been uh, increased okay uh, this was about loan rescheduling and I'd like to show you another operation which is called other fees so you can create other fees in the system in the configuration section and you will see the list of those fees here in the list right now we have one fee and there are three options for every fee charge we need to put the amount which needs to be charged here then we can repay the charged amount fully or partially or we can uh, wait off uh, the char charged amount fully or partially. So uh, let's first charge some fees. Let's say we charge 100 and okay. And you can hear in the comments, you can leave some comments. Let me save. So now the fee is charged and after that uh, it can be repaid again fully or partially. Let me put uh, 100 and okay, you, uh, you can enter some comments here. So now, now we uh, we've charged and then we re uh, repaid. And okay, so uh, here we can use write off uh, 
if the customer uh, def defaults on um, on his loan application, and uh, if we need if we need to remove uh, this loan from our balance sheet, we can use it. So you need to click write off, specify the date, uh, and um, enter command and save. So now uh, this loan is not uh, bad, so we can just uh, skip write off. Uh, top up. A loan top up is an additional amount that the customer can request to be added to an existing loan. Usually, customers are eligible to apply for a top up uh, only when they have made regular loan payments on an existing loan and if they have been borrowers for a certain amount of the time already. So uh, here in, in top up, we need to specify the amount which needs to be topped up. Let's say, uh, okay. It's 10,000, interest rate 18%, uh, grace period 2, maturity uh, okay, 24 months, uh, and we need to specify the top up date here. Okay, let's say uh, loan is top up as August 6th, and first repayment date is in September uh, 10th. Okay, once we have specified everything, uh, we can click on the top up button. And now we can uh, go to the repayment schedule and see uh, the uh, new uh, the new terms. Okay. And there is last operation which is called actualized loan. Uh, and if the loan is created in the past, uh, uh, which would, it means that we have to actualize the loan. Uh, in order to be able to make any operations. The actualizing process generates accrual interest events from the disbursement to the actualization date. So uh, let me give you an example. I have created another um, another loan, uh, actually, and I created it in the past date. So now let me show you the repayment schedule. So, and the repayment has to be made today uh, uh, on August fifth. Uh, so now I see principal interest, but I see uh, zero in accrued interest, which means that uh, the loan was disbursed in the past date and the loan hasn't been actualized. So in order to do uh, uh, actualize, we need to go to the tab called operations, choose actualize and specify the date. Let's say I want to actualize the loan as of today. I'll click, yes, I specify the date. Then I click start. Yes, it has been successfully done and we can now go. And so as you notice, there is a 30 and it means that um, the, the actualization is done and now we can do uh, different uh, operations which, uh, with this loan.